Uh, you said earlier this week, A Rod, that uh, Texas might have the best D line you've seen in your quarter quarter century coaching. Why is that, you think? Um, they're just really big and athletic, and they play with great technique. They play really hard, and they're deep. They're they're, they're too deep at every position. Um, this is one, yeah, one of the best D lines I've ever coached against. Do you feel like you got the speed and athleticism to, to match up with this team on offense? It's going to be a challenge for sure. Yeah, we're going to have to we're going to have to execute at a high level to have a chance to win. Do you feel like the offense took a step against Tech, and do you feel like there's another step to be taken? Yeah, we, we got better in some ways. I thought our run game uh, especially. I, I was really proud of the uh, way we were, we were able to run five and a half minutes off the clock at the end of the game. Uh, we haven't been able to do that this year. You know, we, we, we burned five and a half minutes off the clock, you know, uh, and got a, got a couple first downs. I think it was 9-10 play drive, and, um, you know, that, that was like a highlight for me because we've been in that situation a few other times this year and ended up having to give the ball back to the team and let our defense finish it for us. And so I um, thought we made some progress um, and, you know, we got a lot of work to do. Do you, do you feel like you found the starting five on the offensive line that you're going to stick with for the rest of the year? Um, yeah, I mean, I thought that group played their best game as a group. Um, still have a couple guys banged up, so it's like kind of week to week which, which lineup we'll have. But... Um, I was proud of how those guys played. I thought, especially uh, Paul and Waylon, had their best game of the year. Those two guys. How big of an impact can Aiden Robbins make now? He's actually healthy. Apparently, a good one. He, I thought he played well in the game. He gave us a spark. Um, he did some things in that game that were sort of what we expected, what we saw him do at UNLV. Um, you know, it was just a taste. You know, but we're we're looking forward to him. You know, having a, an impact on the rest of our season. Are you expecting Kibo this this week? To be able to play? Hoping for him, hoping. It's it's uh, day to day. Yeah. So it's game time yeah. decision then. Yes. I, I know. I think you redshirted during his senior year. But what do you remember about a certain strong arm quarterback from El Camino back in 1996? Um, just Sark. Uh, he treated me really well from the day I got here. I was a junior college transfer, like he was. The, you know, one year behind him, and uh, he. Right when I got here, he treated me well. You know, was a good friend right from the start. Included me in all the, you know, all the things that the guys did together. You know, even though I was the new guy, and uh, you know, we've, we've been friends ever since, and um, have a lot of respect for him. Did you maintain that relationship over the years? Yeah, we stay we stay in touch. You know, we're not like talking every week or anything like that, but um, we talk a few times a year, and um, and uh, yeah, we're we're still friends. Seems like the kind of guys where relationships are really important. Is that a fair I can't ask that for him, but I, I think so. I mean, we've we've stayed in touch for a long time. I know he stays in touch with Kalani. Um, so yeah, I, he's 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 a he was a really good player, and I'm not surprised that he's a, such a good coach. Isaac Rex has got a lot of snaps. In fact, we haven't seen yeah. a lot of the other tight ends. Why is that? Is that just because? You need him on the field. He's just playing. He's just doing a good job, you know. Um, he's good, doing a good job for us, and um, he's such a veteran. You know, he knows he knows the offense so well. And um, in a season where we've had some inconsistency with our execution, it's, you know, you want reliable people out there. And so the main reason is just how reliable he is. How big of an emphasis will it be, or how important will it be to sustain drives? You go in there; it's probably going to be hot. Yeah. They've got a pretty prolific offense. Just yeah, I mean, it's it's critical. Staying on the field is something that we need to do better. Um, and it's a good defense, you know, so it's going to be a challenge. But we have we think we have a good game plan, and we're going to go compete. And, um, you know, I think if we can, if we can uh, get some first downs and, and uh, give ourselves a chance to score some points, we'll, we'll be in it. I wanted to ask a philosophy question. You were talking about how proud you were of being able to, to burn that time off the clock. If you're up you know, 10, 14 like you were, yeah. when do you go for the jugular and try and put it away with another score versus when do you try and run the clock? What's kind of the philosophy there? Well, we were still trying to score. We didn't, you know, we didn't, we weren't, but we were, mil we were using the whole play clock and focusing on just getting first downs. And uh, we still want to score, we just, but we don't want to put the ball in jeopardy. So we're not going to be reckless, you know, throwing it around the park, you know, when in that situation. And so the reason why I was proud of our team is the other team knows you're going to run it. You know, everyone in the stadium knows you're going to run it. And we were able to get a few first downs and, and uh, run some time off. And I think we did end up giving them the ball back with 30 seconds left and up two scores, and they had no timeouts. So, um, but 
yeah, it wasn't that we weren't trying to score. It was just that we want to do it a certain way. A lot of talk in college football over this sign stealing. Yeah. Stuff. How how prevalent is it how, in your 24 years? Have you seen it a lot? Or? I mean, there's a lot of teams that steal signs. Now, I, I don't know of I don't know of any teams that have that are doing it illegally. I. It's, it's legal to do it. If you can figure out the other team's signals in the course of the game, that's legal. And there are a lot of teams uh, who are devoting manpower to it. You know, teams that study your TV copies, you know, and try to pick up if they can find a few signals from, from the TV broadcast. And, uh, you know, and there's people that are in the booth or on the sidelines looking at your signals and trying to crack your code. And that's a pretty common thing in college football. And we go to great lengths to, uh, to not get hacked, you know. So, uh, yeah, but it's part of the game and we just have to deal with it. Would you be interested in going to the communication devices Last that questions. others use or would, is that complicated in another way? Yeah, I think it'd be great. I think it'd be great. I think, uh, you know, I'd, I would love to try it, yeah. How unique is it, how unique is it to have a punt team that has caused four turnovers in, in seven games? And it's great. Any any turnover we can get is, is great. I mean, gets us extra possessions and, um, you know, and then if we take care of the ball, then it's it's tough to it's almost impossible to lose when you have five five to zero turnover margin. You know?